Hello, 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 hello. Welcome and thank you for joining me for lunch. <laughs> um, first of all, I'm standing up like, I'm like, woohoo. So I was feeling, I was getting ready to, to do it. And normally I sit down doing my masterclasses as those of you who've been here before know, I see some familiar names. Um, so normally I'm sitting down, but today I was like, oh, just feeling a little bit flat with the old energy. So here I am standing. So I might start, I might start doing some dancing. So welcome everybody. Thank you all for being here. This is a, a new format. Um, normally I do webinar format. So you guys are all coming in and it's no cameras and you're able to chat. Today it's Zoom, the normal Zoom format, um, which means that technically your cameras can be on, but I have the cameras turned off anyway. Um, so you can all relax. I don't, I, I, I mean, I do want to see your beautiful faces, but we don't need to. You just can all like sit and eat your lunch or listen as you're out walking or all of the, any of that good stuff. All right. And um, so I have your, um, your mics off and your cameras off. So I'm going to be teaching all the way through. And at the end, then I'm going to do questions. But please, 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 please do not be afraid to ask your questions throughout it. So throw them into the chat. First thing I want to know is where you're watching from. Throw it into the chat there where you guys are watching from because I love that one. And if anyone is brand new to me, if you've never been to one of my masterclasses, let me know in the chat. Um, I want to know who the new people are. Hi, Galway Westport. Brilliant, brilliant. Love it. Uh, watching from rainy Dublin, Gail, just around the corner. I'm looking out my window and um, it's actually really warm. It's like real clammy. So I had the window wide open to let some air in, but then there's a dog barking like just down there and it's like really loud. And I'm like, be quiet, be quiet. Megan from Wisconsin, woohoo. Hi, Megan, how are you doing? All the way from the States. I met the lovely Megan when I was in Orlando a few weeks ago. Lovely to have you here, Megan. You've never been to one of my masterclasses. Ooh, you're in for a treat. <laughs> um, anybody else new? Anybody else new? We've got, I should, you know what I shouldn't have done, right? So top tips for when you're running a masterclass like this. I shouldn't have had the waiting room on. I should have had that turned off um, so that you guys could just come straight in because now I've got to keep an eye on that waiting room in case anyone joins. But um, but yes, great to have you guys here. As I said, I'm standing up. So I might do some dancing in a little while. <laughs> if you want to see me dance? Let me know in the comments if you want to see me dance. Uh, recovering from a tummy bug, Charmin, Charmini. Oh my God, no. Hope you're feeling a little bit better. Uh, Caroline, you're new. Brilliant. Nadine, you're, you're here too. Are you new here too? Caroline, oh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, so we are going to dive right in to the actual train. Everyone loves a bit of dancing. Let's go, Gail. Woo! <laughs> I'm laughing, right? Because my trousers look really bright. They look like they're really like my brand colors. You know, you see my brand colors, right? But they're actually, you know, they're more of a salmon-y color. But I like the look of the color that they're showing. And Nadine is new here too. So happy to have you guys here. Um, I'm excited. I love doing these masterclasses. Keep an eye on my page. You'll see them popping up. I kind of do one every couple of weeks. Today's, uh, today's masterclass is about how to make sales using social media. Um, because what I find happens, and I mean, you guys are all business owners too. <laughs> so as you know, it can be very hard to actually make sales. Um, using social media what can happen is that we are doing you know we are um showing up we're posting we're you know we're we're doing our live videos maybe or maybe not but we're doing a lot of a lot of content we're putting out a lot of stuff but we're just not fucking getting anywhere we're not getting those sales in and we're like what is going on like i'm spending all of my time on social media and it's just not working or maybe Maybe you're spending money on Facebook ads or maybe you're spending money on, uh, you know, Google ads or Instagram ads and you're not getting anywhere. So that's the that's why we're here today, guys. We are here today to fix that for you, to have you making sales from social media, to have you not wasting your feckin' time posting and posting and scrolling through timelines and not getting anywhere. All right. So. Thank you for all being here. I love that we've got like Wicklow, Wexford, um, Glasgow, Wisconsin in the US, Santry here in Dublin, Galway, 
all of that kind of good stuff. So deadly to have you all here, deadly to have you all here. So what we're gonna do is I am gonna share my screen with you and we're gonna hop straight into this training. And yeah, that's actually not what you're supposed to be saying. So we'll stop that. That's Facebook. <laughs> You don't want to see me Facebook. Um, let me just click back. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to work our way through how you can make sales, how you can show up on social media, how you can show up with purpose, what social media channel uh, you should be on or could be on, and of course, how then we can make those sales. I'm going to give you three secrets, okay? Three secrets to launching and growing your business. Couldn't speak there. Your business on social media. Sound good? Let me know in the comments if that sounds good and we will dive in. Who's eating their lunch? Let me know in the comments if you're eating your lunch. I love that. If you're, uh, if you're sitting there munching away in your sambos, perfect. That's what we want. That's what we want. <laughs> okay, so screen is sharing. What was happening there was I had my screen all ready to go to share. And then my Zoom crashed just as I was about to sign you guys in. So I got all stuck. So I'm like, oh, I'm stuck. Um, Matthias is drinking his coffee and eating his lunch. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right, guys. So we are going to talk about the three secrets to Andrea just finished eating. Nadine is eating. Uh, three secrets to making sales on social media. Okay. So as we go through the presentation, please, please, please ask questions in the chat and I'll come back to them. All right. So ask questions in the chat and I will come back to them. Okay. So small business owners, you, you know that you could be making sales. I don't like to use the word should. We're not blaming. We're not using should, but you know, you could be making sales on social media. You've seen like other businesses doing that. You might have like a lovely, pretty Instagram, you know, like with nice pictures and like nice little designs on it. Well, you're not making any sales, even though you're growing a following. So you're trying to figure out what the heck is going on. All right. You're in the right place. You might see other people selling on social media and making actual money from Instagram or on Facebook. But it's just does it's just not working for you. You're posting away, but nothing's happening. You're posting away and it's taking a lot of time. Maybe, maybe you're doing this. I don't know where my phone is, but maybe you're doing this on your phone. Who takes out their phone and scrolls and scrolls? And you say to yourself, oh, I don't have time. I don't have time to, you know, run my business on social media. I'm so busy working in the business. I'm so busy. A lot of you guys are florists. I'm so busy working in the florist. I'm so busy working as a business coach. I'm so busy, you know, building websites that I don't have time to show up and market myself on social media. Let me know in the comments if that sounds familiar. Let me know if you feel like you just don't have the time to post on social media. So as you're doing that and you're uh, having a nice, long, hard look at yourself and being honest with yourself and realizing that mm, actually it's true. I spend too much time. Gail says too much time. That's what happens. Too much time spent scrolling, watching EP over the weekend for sure. That's it. That's what happens, guys. We, we say we don't have time to market our business. We say we don't have time to do a program or learn how to market your business or learn how to work on the business because we're too busy working in the business. But really, if we look at ourselves properly and we, we realize that, oh my God, I'm wasting so much fecking time on social media because we scroll. We scroll and we're looking at people's electric picnic posts. Uh, for Megan, who's in the States, electric picnic is a big festival that was on here in Ireland this weekend. And everyone and their granny was at it. And everyone and their granny who wasn't at it is watching it on Instagram. <laughs> so we spend too much time scrolling and looking at people. You're looking at someone's holiday photos from four to three years ago. You haven't seen a girl since school, but you're looking at her holiday photos. Sound familiar? Yes, 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 yes. So we've got to change that today. So let's make a pact that we're going to change that. We're going to stop posting for the sake of posting. We're going to stop scrolling for the sake of scrolling. And we're going to stop, start to actually grow our businesses on social media. Sound good? Hands up if it sounds good. Yes, in the comments if it sounds good. All right. So it's time to create an actual business from your following. Because it's doable, guys. It is doable 
to make a business from your following. You do not have to um, spend all of the time on social media. You do not have to spend your lifetime on social media. You just have to get clever. Okay, you've got to get clever with how you use it. Gail says yes, Megan says yes, of course. So perhaps you're here because your business is actually good. Perhaps your business is good. Let me know in comments if you're good. If, if you know, your business is going well and you're making sales, but you just feel like something could click. There could be something that I teach you here that might give you extra sales, or there could be something here that might change the way you use social media and help you out a bit, a bit more. So if that is you, brilliant let me know in the comments okay so let me give you my three secrets to selling okay make sure you stay till the end and i'll give you my one big tip to make your business to make a business from your social media account all right but first who am i i'm denise inspired and i run a six-figure co coaching business while i juggle three children a husband a dog and a very important football career I mean it, like I'm a pro footballer. No, I'm not. I'm 47 years old, but I still do play football. And we had a match last night. My hip is killing me. <laughs> we had a match last night with one match left and we may win the league. And I'm captain of the team. So super important football, but super important football coach as well because I coach the under 11s in Rohini United. Best of luck in the league, Denise. Yes. We've one match, one match left and we might win the league, but it's not in our hands. We're waiting on somebody else to do, our, do us a favor and beat somebody else as well. Okay, so that's me. Things weren't always so rosy. This is me when my husband threw me out of the house and I had to go and live in a tent with my friends in the woods. Okay, sorry to Kerry and Holly. They're my two friends there. And actually, no, this is me camping with my football friends. But I got your attention. <laughs> or maybe I didn't. Things weren't always so great. Back when I, I ran my web business and I wasn't as visible online, I struggled. And um, I had grown the web business and I had some issues around post-sale depression and stuff like that. So the business dipped. Then I grew my agency. I had a social media agency and it was going fantastic. But then COVID hit and COVID hit. And when you're helping businesses market their business, let's say you had no time to do your social media and you said, I'll hire Denise to do it. And I was doing everybody's social media for them. What's the first thing you're going to cancel when we go into lockdown? You're going to cancel paying for marketing. Of course you are. So every phone call I got back in March 2020 was, Denise, we've got to cancel. Denise, we've got to cancel. Denise, we've got to cancel. I was like, so I lost 90% of my business in that first week of lockdown, which of course was pretty crap. So what did I have? I knew that I had to build back up the business, but I was kind of a little bit, a little bit stuck licked my wounds for a day or two while I figured out what I wanted to do and I realized that what I still had was my visibility what I still had was my authority online I was known for social media so think about my language what are you known for there are things you know and there are things you are known for I was known for social media so it was a no-brainer for me to start to teach business owners how to grow their social media and how to grow their visibility online so i launched my program called the authority builder that week back in that lockdown and now it's two and a half years later thankfully i can pay the mortgage and my husband doesn't give out to me anymore <laughs> but i'm i was juggling like a maniac and juggling like a maniac is hard it's easier when your business is more profitable so how can we as business owners some of us are mammies some of us have, have families, some of us have fur babies, some of us have friends and family that they need to hang out with all the time. We all have stuff in our lives. For most of us, our business is taking up too much of our time. For most of us, the business is running us. We're no longer running the business. And this is the issue. This is an issue that threw me into burnout um, about a year and a half ago. Thankfully, Thankfully, I've come through that, but I now know how to run my business effectively. I now know how to run my social media effectively so that I'm getting the maximum visibility, but I'm not burning out. I don't have to be on Instagram every morning. I don't have to be on Facebook every afternoon and doing TikToks every evening. I have now put a clear system in place where I can show up, but I can also run my business and I can also spend time with my family coach my soccer team, football team, soccer team, and play football, walk my dog Lola, and have a life, all right? And keep my husband happy. <laughs> so 
So how, 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 how? Let's get to the secrets. Are you ready? Let me know in the comments if you're ready. Let me know in the comments if you're still with me and still alive and you haven't gone to sleep. Um, and let's dive right in. Secret number one is credibility. Yep, still with you. Of course you are. Of course you are. You wouldn't leave me, Gail. You would never. <laughs> Sorry, quick little drink of water. Secret number one, and perhaps the biggest one that I have found in, in social media, in, in all of my 15 years working on social media, I mean, my background is... is um, traditional marketing. So I was marketing and design manager for Ireland, the UK and Malta for a group, um, a business called One For All. And for Megan, who's from the States, One For All is a gift card company. It's a multinational. For those of you who live in this, in here in Ireland, you all know One For All. So I was their marketing and design manager for Ireland, the UK and Malta, which is where I got all of my marketing um, uh, experience. So everything that I have learned, everything that is true about marketing all comes down to credibility. Credibility is something that we as business owners have got to grow. Credibility is the one thing that keeps customers coming back to buy from you. It's the one thing that makes customers show up and buy from you. So how can we grow our credibility online? How, how does that work? There is no better, easier, quicker way to grow credibility for a business than to use our social media. Social media gives us access, gives us access to our customers and clients. It gives us access to a wider audience. It means that I, Denise Inspired, can teach people in the States like Megan, Hi, Megan. <laughs> um, and Charmaine, who's over in Glasgow, you know, and anyone else who's not here in Dublin, if you're in Galway or Wexford or Wicklow or, you know, over in Europe, over in the UK, over in the States. Social media has given us a level playing field. It means that us as business owners can show up and teach people, can show up and sell to people in other regions. How amazing is that? How amazing is it that we no longer are constrained by geographic location? If there's one thing that you can take home from today, please, please, please take home that you have got to stop playing so small. You've got to stop thinking that you are um, that you are constrained by geographic location. When I work, when I lived in Australia, when I first moved to Australia, I knew nobody in Perth and Western Australia, but I wanted to help people build their businesses. So I reached out to my Irish audience. I had, I had an audience on Facebook at that time, and I reached out to them and I started to build businesses, help people market their business here in Ireland. Then the recession hit in Ireland. So what did I do? I started to market myself to Sydney in Australia because Sydney was booming. When I came home here to Ireland, I was allowed, I was able to use Facebook and Instagram to market myself to people who are still in Australia. Guys, social media has done this for us. It has leveled our playing field and opened us up to that. Okay. Something that we have got to grow is credibility. Now I hear some of you there, some of my florists in the room might be saying, yeah, but I can't send flowers. I can't send flowers to America. I can't send flowers to the UK. That's okay, but you could certainly create your own online course of how to create nice flower arrangement. You could teach other florists, florists how to do what you do. You could teach other flor florists how you've grown your business. Every single person here has an online course in them. What we know is worth more than what we do. What we know is worth more than what we do. So whether you have built a business, if you've built a business you can teach people to build businesses. If you, can, if you have a skill that you can do, you can teach people to do it. If you're a mommy and you are brilliant at organizing, there's a business there. If you're a mommy and you're brilliant at cooking and there's, there's a business there. If you're, if you're not a mommy and you're, you're a brilliant cook, there's a business there. You know, We can teach people what we know and it can be worth more than what we do. So I want you to open your mind to that as well. That's another day's conversation because today's conversation is about growing on social media. All right. So the first thing we want to really grow is our credibility. So how do we do that? Social proof. 
proof of concept and proof of customers. What does that mean? Social proof is asking your clients and customers for testimonials, asking people to post on Instagram, asking people to take a photograph of you and, and tag you, to take, if, they, if you have a physical shop, to check in at your physical shop and say that they were there. If you have a product, when they buy your product, to, you know, take a photograph of the product and, and tag you on Instagram. That is proof of concept, proof of customers and social proof that we are doing what we do, okay? I ask people all the time, all the time, and I'm gonna ask you guys now, there's 23 of you here. I would like you to take a photograph at some stage in this presentation of me on the screen and then guess what i'd like you to go on instagram and tag me in your stories and say something like great free masterclass or thanks denise or the masterclass was crap and a waste of my time <laughs> i don't mind what you say but tag me that you are here because what is that that is proof of concept that is proof that you guys and i appreciate every single one of you that you guys came here and spent your time with me does that make sense? So people often say to me, oh, you know, I love your videos and I was going to write something, but I didn't know what to write. Oh, I love your videos and I was going to comment something, but I wasn't really sure what the best thing to say was. I loved your videos and I was laughing because Luke turned up and Luke was messing. Luke's my six-year-old boy. Luke was messing in the background and I was going to say something, but I didn't want to because it's business. Guys, if you like my videos, if you watch my videos on Instagram or Facebook or TikTok, comment i don't care what you say because guess what we are working on social media and social media works on engagement so anything you say is good for me even if you say stated denise's body blouse i didn't like that oh look at them bright pink trousers no she could put on a bit of makeup <laughs> you can say what you want because guess what every piece of engagement on my videos gets more engagement from other people and that's a lesson for you so when people comment on your videos even if it's a bad thing bless them thank you thanks for the comment thanks for the engagement <laughs> so guys we are going to let's make a pact from now on those of you let me know in the comments who has a business if you're already in business say yes if you haven't started your business yet say no i'll have a little sip of water while you're doing that yes 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 Okay, Caroline, Lola, Andrea, Megan, Gail, Paula, Ellie. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Now, let me know, um, Emma, 18 months, brilliant, brilliant um, social enterprise. Let me know in the comments now. Yes, Jenny, brilliant. Let me know in the comments next, please, what industry your business is in. Throw your industry in. Um, okay, so can we all agree from now on that you will no longer be shy about asking somebody to text or to tag you. Do you see how easy I said to you, please do me a favor. I'm giving you an hour of my time for free. Please do me a favor, take a photograph and tag me on Instagram or tag me on Facebook to say that you are here. I've asked for that testimonial. Do you see how easy it is to do that? So now after this, when I'm finished here, I want every single one of you to reach out to someone you've done business with and say, please, would you mind giving me a testimonial? Please, would you mind tagging me on Instagram to say that we've done business together? Why? Because that's building our credibility and building our social proof. Do not be afraid to ask. Most people are good. Most people are. Most people will um, want to help you. So please do. Okay, so we've got teaching art and, art and craft classes love it you're you're an artist i love it caroline i love it my background is art i studied fine art in college um, and i'm a graphic designer love art love teaching art classes and um, one of my first businesses in the states was a party business where i did a crafting party business for kids and um, i absolutely adored it i adored it and um, so we've got paula training in our organization matthias leadership and youth empowerment love it florist Digital marketing, fitness, floristry, life coaching, essential oils, floristry, floristry. Oh, wow, I do this as well. Parties. Brilliant, Caroline. I loved it. Um, it started out as, as a face painting business, and then I started to do crafting, and then I did craft parties for kids. Absolutely loved it. Sold that business um, in Perth. It was my first business I ever sold. My first business I ever built properly and sold out. Um, Jane has to go to see clients. Um, you can, do you know what? You will. Jane, I want you to message me now. 
on on Facebook or on Instagram, whichever one we you you saw me on, and I will send you the replay because I'll forget if you don't send that to me. So um, send me a message and thank you, Jane, for being here. Um, okay, so we're gonna make a pact. We're gonna build the credibility. We're gonna stop being shy. We're gonna stop playing small. We're gonna stop saying, "Oh my God, I'm too embarrassed." I'm too embarrassed to ask, did I do a good job? Feckin' ask, did I do a good job? Yes, thank you very much. Please give me a testimonial, okay? Build the credibility. Secret number two is authenticity. Guys, we gotta be ourselves. I'm myself. This is me, warts and all. I'm like, not very fancy. I'm not very corporate. My shirt isn't buttoned up to my neck and I'm not very news reader. When I first started to do, you, use video for my business, I was such a news reader. I was like, oh, hi, I'm Denise, and I want to um, help you with your business. <laughs> I was working with an old business coach, and he told me I was too sparkly. He told me that I was too barbie-ish. He actually used those words, too barbie -ish, for people to take me seriously. I had too much pink on my website, and I wore too much pink. What? Doesn't he know nobody can ever wear too much pink? <laughs> Pink is cool. Pink is an empowering co um, color. So yes, be yourself. When we are ourselves, people gravitate towards you. Most of you are here because you saw my videos or you saw something of me and it, something in me resonated with you and you said, I want to I wanna go learn from her. I want to go to a free masterclass. Some people see my videos and they go, oh my God, no, she's too much. She's too pink. <laughs> and that's okay because guess what? I'm myself. I am my authentic self. When you show up as yourself, people will get to know, like, and trust you, and ultimately they will buy from you. People will get to know, like, and trust you, and ultimately they will buy from you. That's the goal, so be yourself. Social media is not the place for you to hide. It is not the place for you to try to be someone else. If you see somebody else on Instagram and they're showing up in one way and you think, oh my God, I want to be like her. And you try to be like her and you try to copy her and be like her or him or blah, blah, blah. You're going to get found out. You're going to get burnt out. You're going to be so tired because you're not yourself. If you are showing up wearing a mask all the time, trying to be something that you're not, you are going to fall down. Okay. When you show up as yourself, things work. When you show up as yourself, people gravitate towards you. When you show up as yourself, people get to know, like, and trust you and ultimately buy from you. So give me a yes in the comments if you agree that you are going to show up as yourself from now on. By the way, Andrea, I saw your video in, on Instagram. Well done. Well done. I noticed it in my timeline the other day. So well done. Be yourself is so important. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry I'm laughing Matthew said it. I was once told by a manager to never tell anyone I was supporting Man United because you'll never be able to connect with anyone not supporting the Rev Devils objectivity is key it's so ridiculous I tell people I'm a gunner all the time so I support Arsenal and people actually laugh at me and go oh my god she supports Arsenal does it mean that a Man United supporter is not going to do business no it doesn't it's ridiculous when we show up when we turn up at a networking event and we meet people we have conversations. Those conversations help us to be relatable. Those conversations help people to relate to us and remember us. I talk about stuff like football. I talk about stuff like my kids. I talk about sea swimming. I sea swim. You might be here and you might have no interest in football. You might not have kids and you're not interested. But I, something else I might say might resonate with you. You might sea swim. Or you might never see swim, but you might have kids. Or you might not have kids, but you might have a fur baby like my Lola. Has anyone seen my pictures, pictures of Lola on my Instagram? Let me know if you want to see more Lola on my Instagram. Oh, she's a darling. <laughs> but you might resonate with me from one of the things that I've said. We don't have to like everybody, everything about everybody. We don't have to say, oh my God, Denise is amazing. She likes Arsenal. She likes sea swimming. She likes this. She likes that. No. We just resonate with something, we get to know them, and we are likable. We are ourselves. We don't have to like everything about everyone, all right? For instance, I like Mateus, even though he's a Man United supporter. Can't be dealing with Man United. <laughs> My uh, eight-year-old daughter, Katie, is a Man United supporter. I'm mortified. So guys, we gotta be ourselves, yeah? So I've been saying, yes, yes, yes. What's the saying? Be yourself, everyone else is taken, 100%. 
Laura says 100%. They will get only me, Megan says. Uh, thanks, Denise. Opened in CSA to my own face, which was a bit of a shock. Well done, Andrea. Andrea did a video on Instagram. Well done, well done, well done. Um, okay, <laughs> Gail says, of course, she wants to see more Lola. Woo! Um, okay, secret number three, guys, is visibility. You could have guessed that one, okay? Sounds simple, but so many of you are not doing it. It sounds simple, but so many of you are not doing it. Visibility is key to showing up and selling your services online. So we've got to make a pact that we're going to start showing our faces. We've got to make a pact that we are going to let people see the real us. It's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to show mistakes. And when I say be vulnerable, you don't have to show yourself crying that, you know, it's the end of the world that something happened. If you want to, that's fine. But vulnerability comes in all different shapes and sizes. For instance, I was teaching one of these master classes. Actually, no, I tell a lie. I was going on a podcast interview um, a couple of months back and I was just about to go live on the interview. I had my glass of water, as I always do, and I knocked my glass of water all over my keyboard and all over the floor. I was like, what the heck? Water everywhere. I took a photograph just as I was about to go live. I took a photograph and I put the photographs up on Instagram of my water spilt everywhere. That shows vul vulnerability. All right, that shows vulnerability because I show I'm not perfect. I'm fecking water all over the place. Got it all over my trousers, all over my keyboard. People relate because I'm not perfect. None of us is perfect. People relate to your vulnerability. So don't be afraid to show it. People think, oh, I don't want to be vulnerable online thinking that I mean that you've got to cry your eyes out and, you know, hyperventilate. You don't. You get to show what you want to show you get to share what you want to share you don't have to share everything i said you have to be authentic yes you do have to be authentic but you get to hold back something from you most of you any of you who follow me a long while you know a lot about me you know a lot about my life and a lot about how i run my life and what i do and how i run my business and all that but you don't know everything only alan my hubby knows everything <laughs> and maybe my best friends yeah, the stuff that I hold back. And that's okay. We get to be who we want to be. We get to show what we want to show. But please, please, please do it in the most authentic way that you can. And please start showing your boat race, your face. All right. We want to see your face because we buy from people. We want to hear your voice. Do you know that... Um, Consumers have said that when they see a video, a demonstration video, they are more than 80% likely to buy from a demonstration video. Did you know that when people hear, see a video of your face, they're more likely to buy from you because now they can relate to you and they see that you're a real person? And if you are afraid to show your face, did you know that even by letting them hear your voice, you've upped your conversion rates because when they hear a voice, they know you're a real person and you exist. Okay, so stop hiding. Start showing your face. People buy from people. Um, Matthias says, I'm happy to hear that, that despite our differences in favor teams, <laughs> that we are still friends. Yes, Matthias, we're still friends. And hi, David, how you doing? My daughter has good taste in a football team. Oh, I have failed as a mother. She's a Man United supporter. Okay, so now that we've gone through our three secrets, we've got, we've got to figure out that we have got to stop trying to sell on social media. When we try to sell, we get too salesy, we get too desperate. We've got to stop looking at trying to sell and start looking at delivering value. Start looking at leading with value. How many people can I help today? If you find yourself in your business getting a bit desperate for sales, and we all do that, Tell me in the comments if you've ever felt that desperation. If you've ever looked in your cash flow in your business, ever looked in your, in your bank account and went, oh my God, I need to make more sales. I need to get more sales in. And we go into that panic mode. Our brain kicks into the fight or flight. And we're like, sales, sales, sales. Let me know in the comments if that sounds familiar. What happens, our body then is we, we, we clamp up and we go, oh God, I've got to get sales. Oh God, I've got that despair. I've got to get sales. We ooze desperation. So now we're on social media. And what that means on social media means we're posting, posting, buy my stuff, 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 
all we're doing to the people watching us is making them repel. Step back, step back and go, oh my God, Denise is shouting at me to buy her stuff. And she's like, scary. <laughs> so all that does is make people come back and go retreat, retreat, retreat. We've got to stop being so salesy. What can we do instead? When we get the panic feeling that we need sales in, take a step back, breathe. What I do is I meditate. Um, even if it's for 15 minutes so I can get my brain back in gear or I go for a nice walk around the park. Breathe, chill out. Now, who can I help? Who can I give value to? Rather than who can I sell to? Rather than who is going to buy my stuff? Rather than help, help, buy my stuff, buy my stuff. Who needs help? Who can I reach out to that maybe ask me a question before that I can actually deliver value to? Actually, I know that girl. I know that girl, uh, Sandra. Okay, she's doing, Sandra's doing uh, weddings. Sandra's doing weddings. Okay, so maybe I can help her because I was talking to a girl recently who's doing weddings and she launched this program of how to blah, 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 blah. So maybe I could reach out to Sandra and give her some value and help her out. Maybe I, should, I could message Nadine and say, hey, Nadine, did you know I've got this free class here that might give you some tips on running your social media. I will deliver value. I can reach out to Charmaine and say, hey, Charmaine, we talked a little while ago about something I could help you with. Maybe I can help you with this. Instead of leading with the desperation of must sell, must sell, must sell, must sell, because what happens is we get pop stopped in this blind panic. Stop. Who can we help? The day, the day that I just, the day, the day that I stopped trying to make sales for the authority builder, my, my coaching pro program, and the day that I started to realize that actually my goal is to help, help businesses grow. My goal is to help businesses become more profitable. My goal is to help business owners stop burning themselves out and start showing up with purpose to sell on social media so that they are actually making sales and not just growing a following. So that they're growing their following and making sales. So that they're not posting away with nobody um, commenting or nobody engaging. That's my goal. When I lead with that value to try to help people, sales become a no-brainer. I no longer have to get people and, you know, coax them into buying my programs because they see the value that I deliver in my free classes like this one or my Reels training. Let me know in the comments who saw my Reels training uh, last week. My Reels training last week um, was I, I sold that for 27 euro. It wasn't a free one, but I sold, did it last week and it's getting great results from people. I'm seeing people that are doing their roles. Let me know in the comments if you saw my Reels training. And if not, why not? And if you want a copy, let me know. And um, does that not depend on what you're selling, Denise? So it depends on, are you a florist, Emma? And um, Laura says, yes, I did. But then I stopped producing the work. I don't like Juice I don't like, and because I get more of the right business for the book, is want to spend more. Still chasing my tail, like yes, yeah, and yeah. um, I missed it, and I would love it. Okay, uh, Nadine, do me a favor, message me on Instagram or Facebook, and tell me that you want the reels training because I'll forget, um, and I'll, and I'll get that over to you. Okay, so does it depend on what you're selling and you're selling flowers? You see, Emma, the thing with e-commerce is right, um. Mateus wants the reels training as well. Mateus, do the same. Message me over on Instagram because I'll forget. And um, okay, so I want to break this down for the florists in the room, okay? And anyone else in e-commerce. So in e-commerce, when we post something, so let's say I'm selling the, these glasses of water, okay? And I'm going to keep posting the glasses of water for you to buy, okay? This, these are my florists, okay? You're posting this. Buy this, buy this, buy this, okay? We get bored. I know that your flowers are beautiful, all right? I know that all the flowers here, Emma, I know that you are doing most beautiful floral arrangements, okay? But we still get bored just looking at your flowers. It does not matter how um, beautiful they are or how many different types you want. To the layman, they're still flowers. Yes, when I book flowers or when I get flowers, I want someone who's gonna do a good job. But what makes me come back to you so when I go to your page and all, the, all this glass of water is my flower arrangement, in case you didn't get that, when I see all these floral arrangements, what makes me remember you instead of remembering someone else, the floristry? This does. 
<laughs> yeah your face because I want to get to know like and trust you and that's ultimately going to make me coming back and buy from you so how can you as a florist deliver value to me as a buyer you can say you can give me three tips to make your bouquet of flowers last longer you can give me um tips on how to choose the best flowers for a wedding you can give me tips on how to choose the best flowers for your friend. You can give me tips on the type of flowers that give certain messages. You can deliver me value by giving me beautiful packaging on the flowers. You can deliver me value by giving me, you know, a free three little pack of chocolate with the flowers as an extra gift. You could deliver me value by ringing me afterwards and asking me how the bouquet is or how the person enjoyed it or, or how everything is going. This is all delivering value and this is all extra customer service. Does that make sense, Emma? Yeah, cool. So we've got to stop trying to sell. We've got to stop thinking that Instagram only wants pretty photographs of our product. Instagram wants to know us. Facebook wants to know us because then we will repeat by. Then we will repeat by because there is nothing for me to remember Emma by. Emma, I'm sure it does beautiful, beautiful, beautiful arrangements. But I'm not going to remember unless I remember Emma. Yeah? Make sense? Okay, so we got to stop trying to sell. Nobody wants to be sold to on social media, but everybody wants to buy. It is social media. Remember, it's social media. The cue is, clue is in the name. Social media. We've got to be feckin' social. We've got to start building relationships. We've got to start commenting on other people's stuff. You cannot post on Instagram or Facebook and expect people to reply to you or comment on you if you are not out there commenting on other people's stuff. How many of you here commented on my Instagram post today or my Facebook post today? Zero. Why not? How do you expect me to come and comment on your stuff if you're not commenting on mine. It's a two-way street. And it's not that I'm sitting there going, well, I'm not commenting on hers because she won't comment on mine. <laughs> That's not it. It's the fact that if Laura comments on my post from this morning, my beautiful pictures of my beautiful husband, <laughs> if Laura comes along and comments and says, oh, you know, great pictures or, you know, hi, Denise, or how are you doing? Anything. What happens to Denise then? Denise goes, oh, thanks, Laura. I'm going to check out Laura's page. Oh, my God, Laura has lovely flowers. I'm going to comment on them. I might share them to my stories so everyone else sees them. Now, suddenly, Laura is getting more followers because I'm commenting on her stuff and I'm engaging. Now, what happens when I need flowers? I might go to Laura and follow or buy from her. Make sense? We've got to stop posting on social media and expecting people to comment, expecting people to share and expecting people to buy from us when we are not doing the same. All right. Laura says, I'm poor, poor at this. It's lack of time. So we got to set timers on our clocks. We got to say to ourselves, right, for 10 minutes each morning, I'm going to engage with others. Instead of scrolling through stories, scrolling through timelines and looking at old friends' holiday photos and old cat videos and dog videos, actively set a timer on your phone for 10 minutes each morning or 20 minutes each morning i'm going to engage with my followers so i'm going to go through the timeline and i'm going to actually comment on people's stuff yeah and if you see a video of mine popping up or one of your friends popping up and you don't have time to watch it just drop an emoji on it drop a heart on it drop something on it that will remind you to come back and watch it later and if you don't remember to come back and watch it later at least you've thrown some engagement on it for the person who's commenting all right. So Laura says, I show up a lot of my stories and do lives of flower orders, Emma, if that helps. Give clients insights into my day. Not all the time, but people know when I do a live, I'm showing something. Tips, advice on posts, real weddings, etc. Perfect, Laura. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. The new follower favorites fees on Insta will help with doing this. I think definitely. Yes, definitely. You can go in, go in and favorite some of your followers so that you can actively check out. You'll also find out that the more you comment on people's stuff, the more they will actively show up in your um, Instagram feed. So if there is somebody that you really want to do business with, you really want to keep an eye on it, make sure that you're commenting on all of their stuff. All right. So it is social media. 
All right. So this is this is Ruth. So Ruth is one of my clients who was in the authority builder and using Instagram to drive sales to her website. Her sales exploded in year one when Ruth went all in on her visibility. This stuff works, guys. And this is uh, Amy at my fair. Amy, who tripled her income in eight weeks. Everything has changed. She's become fully booked in her business. She's actually come back to me after doing the authority builder. She's back with me now in my inner circle because she now has different problems. She became fully booked and she got exhausted. So now she needs to pull back more of her time by creating digital products. So that's what we're gonna work on next. This is Sylvia, and Syl some of you might know Sylvia from the lovely Bella Botonica. Sylvia used Instagram and Facebook to grow her visibility. She's worked with me in the Authority Builder, and her first workshops sold out in less than 24 hours. All right, so this stuff works. Oh, this is Neve. I forgot I had one more. Neve already had 20,000 followers when she came to work with me on Instagram, but she didn't have a business. So with my help, Neve launched house goals, and her masterclass sales went through the roof as she's heading into a hugely profitable 2022. This is obviously, should say 2023. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. So guys, Instagram is a fantastic platform. Laura says, love Bella Botonica. Oh, Sylvia, Sylvia's in my inner circle of the authority builders. I had a meeting with her this morning and I have another meeting with her this afternoon. She's fantastic, doing fantastic business. Um, Instagram. We know reels are huge on Instagram, but if you haven't started doing them, you've got to start now. As I said, I do have a reels training, which is 27 euro. If you want the copy of that, you can get it. I will send it over to you. Just uh, give me, um, want to put reels in there or give me, sorry, comment. Oh my God, can't speak, can't speak, can't speak. DM me or PM me on Instagram or Facebook and I will get you the Reels training. Uh, the link to buy that is 27 euro. Uh, Laura, I was probably one of her sales as I was a student. Oh, Laura, brilliant. Yes, you probably were. I've been working with Sylvia for about two years now. Brilliant. So if you haven't started using Reels, you've got to start using them for growth on Instagram, okay? Stories are important. Reels are important. Um, you've got to start showing up. Live videos are brilliant as well over on Instagram. Live videos on Facebook are brilliant. Reels now exist on, fa on Facebook as well. So it's time to get out there. Now you know the secrets. It's time to get off your ass and get it done. Fear is what's holding you back, but it's time to push through that fear. We need to build our confidence, boost your visibility and grow your credibility so that we can build our businesses boost your online presence and grow your revenue guys it's we've spent too long playing small we've spent too long hiding and many of you would like to become the go-to person within your industry let me know in the comments if you would like that people say oh you know floristry oh that's laura and um, like bella botonica everybody knows bella botonica everybody knows social media that's denise and um, so how would you like to be the go-to within your industry let me know in the comments something happens when you are the authority you become the hunted, not the hunter. And what that means is that people start to comment uh, or start to message you and they want to work with you. And of course, that sounds good because who would not want it? Uh, Matea says, yes, I would love it. But how? It's okay for you, Denise. Everyone says it's okay for you. Hasn't always been easy for me, guys. It's been a long road. I've been up and I've been down. One thing that has stayed with me throughout all of these ups and downs, right back to when I started my first business in Australia, my party business, as I was saying earlier, one thing that stayed with me was always my visibility, but I always had to work on it. My confidence is something I work on every single day. People say, oh, it's okay for you, Denise, you're so confident. No, I don't wake up confident. I wake up and I go, okay, I've got to push myself. One thing that helps me in the mornings is I get dressed. And I, I mean, I get dressed into something that I want to wear um, on video. I, when we were in lockdown, I, I slipped into a bit of a slope of just throwing my football gear on or just throwing a t-shirt and a pair of leggings and my Uggs on. I've got to keep away from that. I've got to, you know, dress myself a little bit smart so that I'm ready for video. That's something that helps me with my confidence. I am not saying you have to dress smart for video. I'm not saying you have to put makeup on or do your hair, but it helps me. It helps me if I'm put together because I'm ready for video then. Yeah. So Matea says, yes. Nadine says, yes, that's my goal. And um, I knew that I needed to change and I needed to up my game way back when. And I needed, I, I knew I had to increase my profits. I knew I had to stop doubting myself and stop undervaluing my work. And um, Gail says, I always have my apron on. Your apron is your uniform. It's perfect. It's what, what you need to show up. And when you put your apron on, it's like putting on your superhero cape. It's like Gail is ready. You have your logo on there and you're ready to do business. I love that. I love that. So get yourself ready. Get your game face on. If you have to pretend, you know, and, you know, 
Uh, who watches uh, Grey's Anatomy? Let me know who watches Grey's Anatomy. Because in Grey's Anatomy, they do the Superman pose, don't they? And they stand there and they go, yes, breathe. And I'm ready to go. Yeah. And I was actually um, talking to some of my inner circle authority builders the other day. And I was saying that I was feeling a little bit anxious one day and I was feeling a little bit, oh, and it was actually Sylvia from Bella Britannica says you need to ground yourself. So after the meeting, I went out the back garden, took my shoes off, stood on the actual ground and just a few deep breaths. And I can do this. I know that I can feckin' do this. I know that I am meant for more. I know that I feel in every part of my body. I know that only myself holds myself back, but I know that I'm meant for more. So when I do this, I know that this is it. I'm gonna show up, I'm gonna do my videos and I'm gonna push forward. And that's what I want for you guys. That is what I want for you guys. I want every single one of you to do your Superman pose and get out there and do your videos, get out there and show your face and do your reels and become the go-to within your industry. And so I did. I said about making a difference. Every step of the way you hit roadblocks, but you keep going. The key is to keep going. I now have a six-figure business and I'm set to double last year's revenue this year. How? By creating a plan and sticking to it. Remember what I said at the start. I have a business. I have a husband. I have three kids. I have a, a little puppy Lola. I play football. I coach football. My life should be chaotic, but it's not. I shouldn't have time for, for uh, self-care, but I do because I have a plan and I stick to the plan. So what does it take to be successful online? Last 2.5 years, I've been helping business owners just like you to grow with my Authority Builder program. Miss Gail, who is here now, is um, one of my Authority Builders. Yes, you are. Who else is here? Paula's here. She's an Authority Builder as well. But I kept meeting business owners who weren't ready for the Authority Builders. Authority Builder. When I met Gail, she was ready for the Authority Builder. She was gung-ho, ready to build her business, ready to go all in. And anybody who knows Gail, she has a beautiful, beautiful flowery boutique now. When I met Sylvia of Bella Botanica, she was ready for the Authority Builder because she had her business was established and she was ready to grow it. But I keep meeting people who aren't quite ready. They're ready to grow their business, but they haven't got the revenue or they aren't invested enough for the Authority Builder yet. So now I want to introduce to you Kickstart Your Authority. Clients and customers have said to me over the years that I want to work with you. I want to work with you, but I'm not ready for the authority building. So I have listened to you and I've created Kickstart Your Authority. Let me know in the comments. Give me a yes if I'm okay to introduce the Kickstart to you while I drink my water. Let me know yes if you want to hear about the Kickstart Your Authority Builder program. Emma Rose says, yes, please. Nadine says, yes, please. Caroline says, yes, yes, yes. Lola says, yes. Um, yes, please tell us more. Okay. Of course I will. So Kickstart Your Authority is an online program. It is designed to help you build your credibility, your visibility, your authenticity, and of course, in turn, to grow your sales online. Everything we have talked about today and more. OK, everything we've talked about today and more. It's the 10 week program. It's a step by step process. OK, with weekly online recorded modules, actionable tasks to complete challenges and prizes to keep you interested and engaged. So what does that mean? Basically, it means we have a secret Facebook group. We all go into the secret Facebook group. Each week, there's a training dropped in there. You watch your training. When you've watched the training, you download the sheets, you write up your homework. Every piece of homework is done on your business. It's not just random stuff you're doing. It's stuff that every piece of homework that you do will move. It is guaranteed to move your business forward. We have challenges in there around visibility. We have challenges around your confidence. I will teach you how to show up. I will teach you to put the discipline in place for, to grow that confidence. I will teach you how to show up online without it taking all your time, how to show up and make sales. There's actionable staff tasks in there and there's prizes to keep you interested and engaged as we work through this 10 week program. All right, it's all designed. 
I would never have done a reel without your authority builder course, Gail says. Anyone who knows Gail, go over and follow Flowery Boutique, and um, that's Gail's program. And she's doing her re our, our page. She's doing her reels and she's doing her visibility and her business is flying. Uh, thank you, Gail. That is lovely. Um, okay, so the Kickstart Your Authority is designed to help you become fully booked, organize your time better on social media, and to make actual sales instead of wasting your time time who wants to stop wasting time on social media and who wants to make actual money on social media give me a yes in the comments if that's you all right so kickstart your authority is for you if you are ready to build your personal brand or if you are ready to grow the brand of your business okay kickstart your authority is for you if you are brand new to social media or maybe you've been around a while but it's just not working for you you're wasting your time because you're not getting anywhere. You're posting and nobody's commenting. You're posting and nobody's buying. All right. If that feels like you, then Kickstarter is for you. Kickstarter is for you if you are feeling a lack of confidence is holding you back. If you're thinking, Denise, this sounds great. I want to do it, but I'm afraid. Denise, I want to do it, but I'm like, oh, how can I do this? I, I'm, I don't have any confidence. Confidence is a skill confidence is not a personality trait confidence is a skill i can teach you confidence i can teach you how to show up i can teach you how to show up with discipline i can teach you how to show up so it doesn't take all of your time and i can teach you how to make sales on social media and that's exactly what kickstart your authority builder is for okay if you are feeling kickstart your authority is if you're feeling a lack of confidence is holding you back i already said that and kickstart your authority is if you feel that everything just takes too long, you're spending too much time on social media, let me help you fix that. I will give you the tools and the processes in place so that we can fix that. So what are you going to learn? How to build a personal brand and how to grow a brand on social media. What social media channel should you be on? Should you be on Facebook? Should you be on TikTok? Should you be on Instagram? Yeah, I'll teach you all of that. Why should you be and how should you show up? When should you post? How should you post? What time should you post? What day should you post? What should you post? All that good stuff. How to boss live video. How to show up on live video and get your sales message right. What is your message? Who's your perfect customer? I will teach you all of that. How to get clear on your message. How to get clear on who your customer is. How to create short form video. The reels. The short form videos over on YouTube how to create them, TikTok videos, all right? How to create short form videos, we'll do all of that. How to profit from using Facebook, how to boss your Instagram and how to grow your TikTok. And then how to tie all that together in a nice content circle so it doesn't take all of your time. If you're listening to this and you're watching this and you say, this all sounds great, Denise, but I don't wanna use TikTok, that's okay. This all sounds great, Denise, but I don't wanna use Facebook, that's okay. We want to get you excelling using one or two social media platforms, not trying to spread yourself too thin using them all. I firmly believe that we should really only lean into one social media channel. I will teach you all three, but I want you to lean in and excel at one social media channel. We grow that, all right? We grow that. And the more we grow that, the more sales we're going to make rather than spreading ourselves too thin across all the social media platforms. This is what you are learning. OK, let me know in the comments if this sounds good. This is what you will learn. OK, the authority builder. Was my 12 week coaching program. This is kickstart your authority. This is the starting point of building authority online. So the outcome, the outcome, you're going to have omnipresence online. So you're going to start showing up more often. People are going to say, oh, my God, Matthias, you're showing up all over the place. How do you have the time? Because you now have a plan and you're following it. Showing up without it taking all of your time. Setting up your social media channels and growing those followings. Turning those followers into clients and customers. Clients and customers finding you for free and you're not have to spending all the time on ads. Building your confidence and knowing that you have confidence in your messaging, confidence in what you offer and confidence to show up. Creating habits and discipline around your marketing. That's the outcome. Sounds good, guys, yeah? Did you know that sales are a direct result of your marketing? Sales are a direct result of your marketing. Can you honestly say, hand in your heart, that you are showing up and marketing your business properly? It's time to change that. So let's change that together. 
All right, the format, it is 10 online recorded modules that we drop into the, into the group on a weekly basis. You watch the module, we have a live Q&A. So I'll be live in the group answering all of your questions weekly. Every single day that you have a question, your question gets answered in that, in that group. All right, you'll be in a community within the Facebook group of all your Kickstarter authority mates, yeah? Um, all your like-minded business owners in your secret um, Facebook group. You will all become cheerleaders for each other. Out there on Facebook and Instagram and TikTok, you'll be commenting on each other's stuff and you'll be bigging each other's up as you grow your, your own network of business owners in there. All right. We have a secret Facebook group where you practice your content so you can practice your videos, practice your live videos, practice your recording, practice your reels, put it all in the group and get, we give you feedback and see how you're doing. We create discipline. We create content plans, a plan and structure of how you're going to show up over the next few weeks, how you're going to show up all the way in the run up to Christmas. Remember, guys, that we are in September. Are we in September? I think we are. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> We're in September. It's going to be fucking Christmas before we know it. We have to ramp up now to make sales for Christmas. Otherwise, you're talking about 2023. If you, what you're doing now is the sales that you'll bring in at Christmas. Absolutely no point in you turning around in December and going, right, I'm ready for the Christmas market, but you haven't been visible. The visibility starts now. OK, so we have the 10 online recorded modules. We've got the live Q&As. We've got the community of like minded business um, owners. We've got three Zoom group meetings where we'll all come together and you'll have your cameras on and your mics on and we'll chat about how we're doing. One at the start, one in the middle, one at the end, where we'll all get together and see who's doing what and we're networking. OK, you'll have downloadable worksheets that you will fill in for your homework, that you keep them forever more if you need. You have actionable steps and accountability. There's prizes. When you get your homework done, when you reach a certain stage, you'll get your T-shirt. When you reach another stage, you'll get your pen and your notepad to say that you've done the work. At the end, you'll get your certificate to say that you have now completed your Kickstart Your Authority program. There's prizes to be won on completion of tasks. This um, Kickstart Your program is phenomenal program all right anybody who has been following me a while knows that my authority builder program is four grand it's four grand to do the authority builder with me kickstart your authority is half of that because i've taken half of the training and half of the time and i'm i'm, I'm kickstarting you i'm getting you going with the visibility the idea behind this is we grow the visibility and when the visibility is grown and you've got followers, then I help you develop the business to raise your prices and make more sales and all that. That's phase two then. So the Kickstart Your Authority is going to be 1997. So a two grand program. But of course, I am launching it today at an intro price for you. Anyone who knows me well knows that when I launched the Authority Builder, I first launched it at 997. So it was a grand when it launched two and a half years ago. Uh, Sylvia from Bella Botanica, she was lucky to get it for a grand all those two and a half years ago. Now it's four grand for the Authority Builder because the price grows as the results grow. OK, so we are launching at an intro price. Get your kickstart, your authority for 997. This is the only time that it will launch at 997. So buy it now and get involved. Buy it now so you do the work now to grow your sales for Christmas. Do not get left behind, guys. This brings us all the way up. OK, you will be set up and ready to smash the last quarter of 2022 and be really ready for 2023 with regards to sales. Remember that confidence, credibility, visibility is what we're going to be working on. They will equal more customers, more sales and more revenue. Sound good, guys? Let me know if that sounds good. Let me know if this is what you're interested in. Let me know if you are in because I want to work with every single one of you here because I know that I can help you grow your business. I know that I can help you get more clients and customers. If you follow my proven process that I've been doing for the last two and a half years, if you follow the step-by-step -step that I give you, you are guaranteed results. If you follow the step-by-step -step process, if you do the training, do the homework, do the work, you will be guaranteed results. If you don't do the work and you don't show up, I can't guarantee you anything as nobody can guarantee anything if you don't do the work. So imagine 10 weeks from now that you are visible online. You've got a clear pathway. You know what you're doing. You know where you're going. You have cl new clients and customers and you have the confidence to show up. Imagine how different your life will be and how less busy your life will be. This is Annie Apple and Annie was stuck in a job that she hated. She was undervalued and her dream was to go all in on her own business and become a stylist full time. Her dream felt so far away, but she signed up for the authority builder and Annie left her job 
has built up her clients in styling and her revenue has quadrupled since leaving her job and she has more time. That's what we all want. So kickstart your authority. I don't know what those little squiggles are. Kickstart your authority is going to teach you confidence on camera, which we've um, put a 4,000 uh, price tag on. Social media mastery, messaging, resort. You've got your resource vaults. You've got the community, which is prices. You've got your three group Zoom calls. All right, the total value, we're putting that at 12 grand. But of course, today it is 997. But we got to get started today, guys. So the... Um, Assess the authority builder. It should say kickstart your authority. So the webinar bonus for being here today. And when you pay in full today and get access to, a, you get access to a VIP one-on-one -on -one session with me, which is valued at nine nine seven. So in addition to all the Kickstarter package, me and you will get on Zoom, just me and you, and you will get the VIP access. And that means that I will give you a, a Zoom call two of us together i have two meetings this afternoon with two of the girls that are already have signed up to kickstarter so i have their meetings and um, this afternoon and i call them your yellow brick road meeting and basically that is where i look at you look at your business for the next six months and say right what's your goals where do you want to be and i give you a step-by-step -step, actionable steps for you to take so if you buy the kickstarter um program today you will get access to two vip sessions one at the start of the kickstarter and one at the end that's me one-on-one -on -one, coaching you through whatever you're stuck on and how you can create the yellow brick road for you to get to success. The ultimate goal is to get you all to six figures. If you're already on six figures, brilliant. Let's get you to seven. All right. So are you in? Let me know in the comments if you are in, guys. Let me know how this sounds. Let me know if you are interested, if you like how it sounds. Um, if you've got questions, I am ready for questions. Please do throw them in the comments. And I do have a link here that I'm going to throw in. And um, I have a Stripe link that you can, if you're ready to buy, go for it. And if you're ready to buy now, that means you will get into your meeting straight away. Let's copy that link. I'll throw it into the chat for you guys. There's the link to buy. If you're in, let's do it. And um, click in. When you sign up to buy that, you get access to my calendar then. And we'll be hopping on our Zoom. My Our Zoom meetings are... And the one-on-one the -on -one VIP meetings are today, tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday. And we officially um, start our group meetings then next week. You will get access to the group uh, tomorrow. The group opens tomorrow. And this 10-week program brings you all the way up to December. And it just gives you all the systems and processes that you need. It will give you the step-by-step -step of how to use Instagram, how to use Facebook, how to use TikTok, and of course, all the messaging and confidence around it. Um, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, sounds good, sounds great. And um, let me know, guys, if you have any questions. Let me know if you're clicking that link, if it works. Somebody click that for me and let me know if it works anyway um, to, to see. And guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for... Um, spending lunch with me i did keep you a little bit longer I, I said i'd be an hour but we're an hour and ten um i hope you enjoyed that uh you're welcome gail i hope you enjoyed it um let me know in the comments if you enjoyed it let me know in the comments if you want to be make sure that you are on my list for more of these and um, i do do these free free classes every couple of weeks and um, I will have one again in another few weeks. And if you want the real training, make sure you message me on Facebook or Instagram. If you want to hop in a call or if you want to call me to have a quick chat about the Kickstarter, if you've got questions, then just message me on Instagram or Facebook. I'm here. I'm open. I'm approachable. And um, let's chat if you have any reservations. If you're thinking, oh, yeah, I really want to do it. But there's any reservation. If there's some little question up there that I haven't answered today, just reach out to me and let me. And uh, when is your next in-person day? Oh, Gail. Gail was at my in-person day here in Dublin um, a few weeks ago. It was brilliant, Gail, wasn't it? It was so good. My next one is the 18th of October, and I'm going to be teaching how to create digital products in your business. Um, so that's the 18th of October. I will send you over the link, Gail. I'd love to have you there. Uh, the link is good. Thanks for the session. Lots of food for thought, possibly in a different direction than I expected. Okay, cool, cool. Um, have a think, Andrea. If you want to hop in a call, do. Um, as I said, the Kickstart Your Authority is basically the authority builder. 
broken into two. Um, Kickstart Your Authority helps you grow the visibility. The Authority Builder is the second phase. So the idea is you do Kickstarter and it grows the visibility side of things. And if you feel that you want to go further on and create digital products and maybe um, create online stuff like that, that's what the Authority Builder would be for at a later date. Um, so guys, thank you so much. I'm going to go and get my lunch. Um, I have a one-on-one -on -one with one of the new Kickstarters at three. And then I have a coaching session with my inner circle. My inner circle are my Authority Builder clients who've been with me for a couple of years. And we are building out, um, what are we doing today? We're building out our online program. We're doing high ticket. So last week we learned all about our value ladder and creating digital products. And this week we are working on how to create high ticket programs. So that's by the by. Have a busy day. Have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you guys coming and spending your lunch break with me. And please do reach out on Facebook or Instagram um, with any questions. Marie says, thank you. Fantastic webinar. You're very welcome. You're very welcome, my dear. And um, thanks for being here. And if you have a second, I'm taking a quick photo of myself. If you have a second, guys, please do go over and take a photograph and tag me on Instagram or tag me on Facebook and tell people it was a good webinar or a good masterclass because that's what has people that come back, comes back to me. Um, thank you so much for this masterclass. I look forward to more sessions soon. Thanks guys. I will chat to you later. Have a great week. And uh, Shamani, I will text you now actually. Um, and it was nice to have you here, Mateus. Take care guys. Have a great day. Have a great week. See you later. I'm grateful for you all as always.